remarkable portrait. It's so lifelike. I love her dress and her collar and her bow and her hat and the feather and the curtain she pulls away and how she peeks out at something. It's so animated. It's really wonderful for all of the artifice, all of the complexity and the attention to costume. It's not only very natural, but she comes through full of energy and curiosity. You feel as if you really get a sense of who she is. Oh, completely. This was commissioned by her husband here on the eve of the French Revolution. Her name is Madame Perigo, and this is a portrait by Elizabeth Vigée Lebrun. I think it's really interesting to look at the way the painting is constructed. She's taken a very sort of simple composition, and a very traditional one, of a woman, sort of a half-length portrait, uh, with a curtain on one side and an open space on the other, at a balcony. But she's created, first of all, the sense of the revelation by pulling right. that curtain back. Kind of little drama. Absolutely. But then she's also formally constructing that lovely arc on the lower right that begins to then set off a couple of other arcs, the arcs of her arms, of her collar, Color, of, uh, her hat. of her hat, and then again of that lovely red ribbon uh, that just trims her waistcoat. She's taken a formal element of that Baroque curtain that we see behind uh, figures and portraits and made it something much more playful. Yeah, really engaging it. It's just, I think, a masterful example of how the portrait can be brought to life.